Happy Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I did a card like this about six or seven months ago, uh, a double fun fold card, but it opened that way and that way. I'm doing one today that opens this way and this way. Isn't that lovely? And this is a new stamp set called Flirty Flowers. I haven't used it yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I used the Happy Birthday from the Window Shopping um, stamp set. And it's cute, this little bow. Oh, I got it that tiny, I'll never know, but uh, we did it. Uh, it says, Happy Birthday. Here's to the best day ever. And then inside it says, Make a Wish. Isn't that pretty? I think that's really nice. And I've used the new ink colours as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made this right now. Isn't that bad? I think that's really pretty. Um, I have scored my card, but you're going to need a piece that is five and a half by six and a quarter. Uh, but you're going to score this at four and a quarter. So I'm going to make sure these ends are together. Here's my bone folder. I'm going to emboss this um, folder, this this flap in a moment, with the new garden trellis. It's called absolutely stunning. So we're going to emboss that in a moment. Uh, you're going to need a piece of whisper white. This measures five and a quarter by eight, and this is scored at four. And again, I'm going to make sure these come together. I think my well, uh, my trimmer moves when I'm uh, scoring. Look at that. There's a big wedge in there. But it can always be manipulated into the right position. There we go. That's better. So we've got our inner card now. The other card I did uh, was like this and opened like this like that, that way but we're going to keep it this way today I have a little bit of a difference just going to crease that's being fair again that's better you're going to need two pieces of lemon lime twist then these both measure three uh, by three and a half and you're going to need two of those and two pieces of Whisper White, which measure two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And those are going to get mounted on our lemon lime twist. You could swap it round and add the green and then the two red if you wanted to. Or any colour combination. It's entirely up to you. It's your card. This one's mine. If you get any bumps in your card, just go over with your bone folder and it will flatten you card back down so you don't get no kinks in it. That's sweet. Right, first of all, I'm just going to pop over there. I'm going to run this through the big shot and we're going to emboss just this little flap. Every two seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in all the way to the edge and leave the back around the back. Tell you what, my back's giving me dip today. See how it's embossed this side, but it's not done that side. It's fabulous. And that's the garden trellis, and that's the item number one four three seven four one. I think it's seven pounds. It's absolutely stunning. So, and this is going to go in here now. Oh, isn't that so sweet? But we're going to do our stamping first. This is going to take a little while because I'm using. Um, Oh, excuse me. I'm using a full-on stamp inside I'm going to use with my Berry Burst. And this is this beautiful cluster of flowers. And this is just for inner, the inner decoration. Make sure that's stamped up lovely. I'm just going to pop this in the centre. Well, 
to towards the left hand side of our card so we can write a message on the other side isn't that pretty i'm loving this and then we're going to fetch my mento black and we're going to uh, we're going to stamp the make a wish I'm going to keep that straight so I hopefully my. Oh, boo boo. I'll sort that out later. In fact, I'm going to try and do that now actually with my lovely rubbery rubber. And my lovely, lovely friend. I'll be quick. Oh, come on. Oh, I'll give it a good scrub after. I don't want to impair on my recording time, so I will get rid of that after. Right, now I'm going to... I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. Just on what? They're both exactly the same size, so it doesn't really matter which one I'm using, as long as I get it straight. I don't know why that happened. And I'm gonna do this towards the top. Yay, at least that one's straight. <laughs> and we've got this beautiful little stamp here. I'm gonna close that just for a moment. Even though it's coming back out. I'm using my marker pens for this. I'm going to do all the green. Now we're going to go over with our on our flowers in the berry burst. The berry burst one seems to be quite inky and nice and juicy. We are going to hop on this in a minute just to reactivate the green again. So. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. <sighs> I'm going to pop this about there. Oh, so sweet. I'm loving that. We can attach this now to our green card. I'm just using a little bit of fast fuse. And look how simple it is to use. And it's so light. You just As long as you give it a flick at the end. Love these colours. I love the lemon lime twist with the berry burst. It's absolutely stunning. What do I do there? Just saves me running my fingers in case they've got any incoming. We can set that to one side now. Now we're going to stamp on this. I've used this beautiful, it's, um, it's just a plain flower. And I've stamped this in the black. And then I used my aqua, uh, my aqua pens to... Uh, you could actually use your blender pens and your watercolour pencils. But I don't think we've got the berry burst in them. And I'm just going to lower these flowers as we go down. So they're in stages. That's sweet. And I do have a, a scrap piece of Whisper White because I'm going to stamp my lovely Here's to the best day ever. And I'm going to fetch him and it fits just perfectly inside my one inch circle punch. And I've also got my one and a quarter inch circle punch and I have a spare piece of the very burst. So I'm using them and I'm going to layer these together. Perfect. 
perfect and then this is going in the top corner of my card just to give it a bit more dimension and a bit of uh, a bit of height to the card isn't that sweet now I'm going to come back in I've already scrolled the lid there's my aqua pen there it is Got a scrap piece of paper here. I'm just making sure it's clean from the green. Oh, it's got a bit still on it. And we're just gonna a very delicate flower to be colouring this one. But very therapeutic. So what got me into card making was colouring with my granddaughter, believe it or not. We used to sit and colour on a Friday. And then we got into bit, uh, bigger pictures. We used to just do it with a colouring book. Are any of you beautiful subscribers out there looking for a, a part-time job? Why don't you join me at Stampin' Up? doing it in your own hours you don't have to even do it you don't have to sell to anybody else but if you do you'll reap the benefits work from home put as many hours into it as you want um i'm trying to promote to silver elite and i need three ladies to join my team and one of them to be at silver like me now um I know it's not going to happen this year. I had four ladies in my team, but two got dropped this month because um, they didn't uh, buy anything at all. Bless them. Circumstances arose and they couldn't afford to. So they've... Uh, they're not in my team no more. They're not with stamping up no more. Bless them. But, uh, yeah, so instead of only wanting one, I wanted last month. Now I need three. Please come and join my team. I am a very nice uh, lady to be your upline. I've got to send a lovely gift out this week coming up. Because one of my gorgeous girls has, in a month, Gone from bronze to bronze elite in just four orders. Four orders. 1,800 CSVs. And she had to do it in six months. And she did it in a month. And just in four orders. Absolutely amazing. And she carries on like that. She'll be at silver before she knows it. And then I can, because I need three more ladies and I need one of my ladies to promote to silver before I can get to silver elite. You don't have to do it. You don't have to sell to anybody else. You can just keep it all to yourself and just sell to yourself. Get all the, all the commission that comes with working with Stampin' Up. They've got fantastic... Um, Commission going. Right, there's our berry burst. So I've just cleaned off my tissue and now I'm going to fetch in my lemon lime twist. Love this colour. As soon as I, and a lot of the girls were like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Don't know I absolutely adore this colour. As soon as I saw it, I knew I was going to fall in love with it. Love it. So now I'm going to gently do my leaves. I've got a rogue hair sticking off the brush somewhere right at the end. I can see it. But you can also join my team. You don't have to live near me. You can live in France, Germany, the Netherlands. I can still be your upline. 
My husband's playing on his game again. Now he's a little bit, isn't he? Maybe on another telling off after. <laughs> no, I don't tell him off. I just have words. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just cleaning off my bristles. The green really stains. I'm going to pop that under the tap later. So, I'm going to now attach. And it dries really quickly. Attach our beautiful other piece. Isn't that sweet? Love that. Love that. So now we're going to attach this to the inside of the inner card, uh, the outer card, should I say. This is the inner card. And we're going to give ourselves a lovely, a lovely little border all the way around. That's perfect. I don't know what that is there. Let's see if we can get any more of this off out here. Oh, that's much better. That's better, luck. Right, now we are going to attach. Oh, lovely. You always attach the inner one first because it, it's easier then to line the outer one up. And we're going to keep this pretty central as well. <laughs> oh, there goes my stomach rumbling. Oh, no. Lovely. That's a gorgeous little flat. And now we can we can attach this on here. So you need to hide that see. But what I recommend is tear and tape. Because it's an embossed um area, you want some if substantial grip because you don't want that flat falling off. So I'd say two two layers. You could possibly put three. Um, we can check in a moment. Let's have a look. No, we get away. No, I'm going to leave it at two. I think that's plenty. I'm going to really burnish that now to make sure it sticks down on my card. I'm going to pick up my uh, the backing of the tape coming off now. Pop that in the bin. I'm going to line this up now. Perfectly. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh my god, I'm So it opens like this. And it also opens like this. So it says, happy birthday. Here's to the best day ever. And make a wish. Still needs a little tiny bit of work there. But I will get that off. So let's tie a bit of bling now. I'm going to pop one in the center of my flower there. And just that little one. And I'm going to pop one here. And I'm going to pop one here. Oops. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we're going to come in with our new crinkled ribbon. This is beautiful. And this is crinkled seam binding ribbon. And this is in the new berry burst. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop this up here. Can make a... I'm not going to detach yet. <laughs> not without making my bow first. That's a bit too long that is. That's better. 
and I want a little bow, so this I don't have no trouble making a bow with. Look how sweet that is. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten these tabs just a little wee bit. I don't want to overpower with that bow. I think that's perfect. So I'm going to cut that at an angle. And I'm going to cut that at an angle. Isn't that just the sweetest little thing? Oh my god. How stunning. And we're done, I think. You can leave that uh, single, you know, flat. You can have it ruched up. It doesn't really make any odds. I do like it to be flattish on the inside of here. I'm going to try and pull this down so it's level. Oh, that sets that off as well. Isn't that pretty? That gives that um, a dressed look inside now. And what's happened? Oh, there you are. It's just tucked in. <laughs> I thought I'd damage my bow then. But isn't that sweet? Slightly a little bit bigger than this one, the bow. But, oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? Well, there we are. I'm going to rectify my little boo-boo in the centre. Uh, this is the first one I made. Gorgeous. And this is the one we've just done together. But what a lovely card. Oh, oh I know what I've done. Look what I've done. Silly mare. Oh, I should just go around this flap. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to open the card. That's more like it. Oops, I'm pulling it a bit too tight, I thought then when I opened it. Um, I'd done something wrong. See, I'm tying it upside down. I need to do it upside down because my tails then end up the right way. Don't worry about that, I'm going to pull that straight in a moment. Make sure it's close to this edge. I always find if I tie upside down, my tails end up going the opposite way. So if I tie upside down, my tails will be pointing down. See what I mean? That's just something that happens to me, unless I'm tying everything all wrong. <laughs> but there we have it. That's my little slightly larger bow and my smaller bow. That's better. Make sure it's tucked in there. <laughs> we got there in the end. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. A thumbs up and a share and a subscribe would be amazing. And until next time. Oh, I uh, had a tinker around this afternoon and I've made the lady with the big dress, with the long dress. I think it's a bit solemn because it says wishing you brighter days to come. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And a moody colour. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.